Oh hello wild buns, I'm here today with another lightweight tent to try. It is another Lanshan but bear with me, I think this one might actually keep me dry. So today I'm trying out a Lanshan 2. Compared to my Lanshan Pro 1, it's of course bigger because it's a two person, it's got two layers, so it's got the inner and the outer as opposed to just having the outer like the Pro has. So hopefully it will be much less prone to condensation. It's also a little bit heavier of course, so this is the weight of the Lanshan Pro 1 and this is the weight of the Lanshan 2 with three season mesh inner. I do know from my own weigh-in of stuff at home that when I have both tents packed into a dry bag, each with their individual footprint and pegs, the Lanshan 2 is 350 grams heavier than the Lanshan Pro 1. Now, if this tent can give me loads more room, not have the crazy condensation issues that the Pro has, and it can keep me dry, I will be more than happy to carry an extra 350 grams, and this could be the perfect tent that I've been looking for. So. Let's get it up. It's just started raining, so better get this up quick. Oh dear. So this one requires two trestle poles instead of just one. I'm in. It's huge. It's got two vestibules, two doors, the two layers is lovely because you're not touching the outer skin. The headroom's amazing. The bathtub floor is thin, just like it is on the Pro 1. So I'm using the footprint just like I do on the Pro 1. This inner is the three season mesh inner. You can get a four season as well. It's a little bit heavier and it's made of something non-meshy and it doesn't let the air through quite as easily. The bathtub floor is standing upright, lovely in the corners, which I struggled to achieve with the Pro, so that's brilliant. I've also added a bit of string up here, just tied it on so that if I get wet clothes on a trip, I've got somewhere to hang my stuff up. And with it being so big in here as well, you kind of got loads of room to hang stuff up. So that'd be really handy. Got my socks up there at the moment. Yeah, absolutely love this tent so far. I think this could be a winner. For my sleep system tonight, I have got my Thermo S LED light. It's a closed cell foam mat. Um, it's kind of like sleeping on the floor with a little bit of extra padding, so that's fine for me. I quite like sleeping on the floor and I love how versatile this is. So obviously I can lay on it as a bed and I can put it outside directly on the grass to sit and make my dinner. I've got Lofty, my Trichology Aloft pillow, as always, of course, and I've got my Rab 500 sleeping bag. This is a fairly new sleeping bag. I got it for summer. I'm going to use it as a quilt tonight, leave it open because it's going to be lovely and warm but yeah, really love this sleeper bag and it packs down tiny and weighs only a kilo so much lighter than my 900 that I used in the winter, the red one. I've arrived quite early today actually so I've had loads of time to just chill out, rest, listen to the birds and all that stuff so yeah, amazing. I'm getting hungry though so I'm going to make some food in a minute, got a nice bit of lasagna for tea. Oh, that was freaking delicious. So now I guess just relax and wait for the sun to go down. drink. It's such a beautiful night. It's so peaceful. It's warm and still and this tent just feels absolutely gorgeous. I love it just as much as being in my cloud peak with the added benefit of it being much much lighter as well. I don't think we're gonna get a big downpour tonight or anything to properly test it out in the rain but I really wouldn't expect this tent to let any water in. Looking at the way it's constructed with the two layers 
the seams on this are taped as well whereas on the Pro 1 they're not taped and you have to seam seal them so no seam sealing has been needed for this one I'll have to try it in proper heavy rain of course to make sure but I don't see that there's going to be any issues with this one I absolutely love having these two doors as well being able to see out both directions the vestibules are huge there is not a single thing so far that I dislike about this tent and of course using the trekking poles instead of traditional tent poles the trekking poles aren't going to break in high winds or anything so that's really nice I'm going to get to bed soon I guess I think I might leave the outer door open and just shut the mesh to keep the bugs off it's such a lovely warm night it'd be nice to keep the air going through so yeah I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. morning i've had such a lovely sleep i slept for eight hours really really comfortable i used my earplugs and my eye mask and was just out all night so that was amazing there was really loud squeaking going on though i don't know what animal that was i don't think i've heard it before so if anyone knows what that creature was please let me know in the comments so i'm just making my morning coffee and then i'm gonna try and make an omelette I've got an egg and half a potato and some seasoning as well so I actually was supposed to bring sausages but I left them in my freezer but we'll make do with what we've got and make a tasty little breakfast. Let's get this egg in. Look at that, it's not a bad little breakfast is it? Even without the sausages. That was such a nice breakfast. I'm loving this morning, I'm being so lazy, taking my sweet time, there is just no one about. So my thoughts on this tent, I absolutely love it. I love it. I think I actually prefer it to my Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2. Sorry nature hike, love my nature hike. It's always been my favourite tent, except for the weight of it. It's just so heavy, it's too heavy for me to take out on my little backpacking trips. So this is so much lighter. It's got the same amount of space inside I reckon, but the vestibules I think are bigger. I love the colour of this. I love that you use the trekking poles instead of normal tent poles because I have had tent poles break in the past, not on a nature hike, on my MSR Hubbard NX. So they make me a bit nervous now having said that I don't know how this will do in strong wind and it was so nice being able to sit up in the morning have so much space in here so much headroom and not get wet from the condensation on the walls so I will definitely be taking it on my next backpacking trip I think this could potentially be you know the one for me for now anyway and um, yeah I can't wait to try it up in the mountains so thank you so much for watching you guys I will see you again soon take care bye Thank you.